So we're going to make some home improvements here and get ready for the next night. The next night is mostly just going to be a, a test of the water's capabilities with the AI of the zombies. Um, we're going to see how they react to the water. Are they going to dig down or are they going to go straight for the opening? Which do they prefer? I don't know. We're going to find out. So I've got to build some more here. Get some more trees. Let's chop one of these big ones over here. I'd like to leave some trees on my property, but at the same time, I need the wood. I'll try to move out further to get trees. I'd like like a logging camp or something, I don't know. If you had like an eight man team on a server, you could just go to town. Make your own overnight logging company. Just get a bunch of dirt blocks from somewhere. Craft a huge friggin' wall. Have two guys gunning zombies and the rest of them just within the contained area logging the trees. It'd be pretty awesome. Get this little tree here. Delicious wood. Whoa! <laughs> huh? Forest ground. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I don't know what causes that glitch, but that was pretty weird. What? I'm able to loot it. And I just noticed I also have clay. I've never gotten clay before. Oh, from the water. That's why. That's pretty neat. I didn't know you could get clay in this game. <laughs> yeah, I should have known because I've used developer kit, so I... That, that's new to me. I don't. I didn't even know there was a clay block this entire time, and I've had access for a while to every block in the game, but I didn't even bother to look for clay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I hear some digging zombies over here. Ah, where are they? I see a zombie. Whoa, zombie hole. Oh, it's not very big, is it? Huh. Could have just been one determined zombie. With cloth. <laughs> Go figure. There you go. Just die, yeah. I think I've seen zombies at the corner of my eye. You get nervous playing these games thinking that they're here and they're trying to eat you. Obviously that's the intention, the zombie's going to eat you at some point, with or without your permission. I quite liked um, Project Zomboid's opening for that. Uh, they basically say, this is the story how you died. Because frankly, that's what's going to happen. You're going to die. There's very little you can do. And it was quite honest that that game. It, it, it was. It's really a good game. I have not actually gotten to play much of it. Um, I don't own it. That's the problem. <laughs> but uh, it's enjoyable for the amount of time that I had. And, and probably in the future, I, I will purchase it and be able to fully play it. I played the um, the test version, the pre 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 Delta Beta. Zeta thing, whatever. I don't know. Okay, so I made some tips here. It's long reach for a door. <laughs> uh, I made some tips here to uh, kind of just accentuate the tower. Plus, on this side, if a zombie tries to attack the tower, they'll get hit. Because oh. apparently, you take damage when you run into tips. Who would have thunk it? Need some venison. Mm, delicious, gooey, gooey. Delicious venison. I probably ate a little too much there, but whatever. I've got plenty. I've got so much venison. I have plenty of blueberries here to refill my water slowly. I should take out another tree. I 
like that tree though. I'll go over here and get some trees. Ah. I'm alive. That's all that matters. I'm alive. I did not kill myself out of stupidity. Hi zombies. Both coming at me from a good distance. It's getting afternoon. should do is add a little more spikes here and there and some torches obviously these torches are important so how am I gonna deal with this a little bit more spikes around my base. Then I'm going to deal with putting more torches down near the lake so I can at least make a clean run for it if things go wrong. I'm assuming I survive. back the zombies get hit by the torches uh, but <laughs> have I been saying torches for spikes the entire time I meant to say spikes I am a silly one the closer these are together the better off I will be I'll put some extra stuff in some storage so that I don't lose any important stuff. Alright, it is dark. Well, it's getting dark. It looks darker out there, but the zombies are coming, so I'm going to immediately get under here, prepare for their arrival. Well, I am going to survive here. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm hoping I'm going to survive here. <laughs> Being inside this tiny little hole under the water. I can hear zombies all around. See that? Oh, here we go. So now, we discover if zombies can, in fact, get to you in the water. I hear a lot of splashing. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on up there. Are they actually breaking through? just running around because they don't know what to do. We will find out. Uh, so far, nothing. I mean, I could just be a little early to determine what's going on here. But it doesn't seem that the zombies are going to get through. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely wrong about that. So I'm staying in the same area, not moving. So they should be right above me, which it sounds like they are. It sounds a little hard to tell when it's coming from this game, but... They, um... Sound like they're doing something. They're dancing up there. I don't know. If they are, in fact, attacking the dirt, we'll start to see it. I hope to God none of them stay to attack that area, because that would just break the point of this experiment. Come on. Come on. This actually works. I'll just start moving uh, some important stuff in this area. There's so many. I'm gonna have to deal with them in the morning. I'm literally going to have to uh, 
watch the clock. I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me staring at the ceiling the entire time. If something starts to happen, you'll know it. Though maybe too early to authenticate this or not. I think, I think zombies cannot break blocks that are underneath water. Simply because their AI is tricked. So I'm very happy that one of my subscribers suggested I try this because now we all know, now we all know that zombies are tricked by water. <laughs> Again, I might be saying this too early. They can come crashing down. But it's been, it's been a while, and they're they're still making the same sounds. But none of this dirt is broken. It's it's pretty clean. I've tried running around, make sure they know where I am, jumping up and down. They know I'm here, and they cannot break. Like they cannot break it. So I think the zombies are trying to attack the water block, and they're not attacking, you know, what they need to attack, which is which is the blocks here. They they don't know to attack the dirt. They're attacking the water. They're selectively attacking the water because it's in front of them. But you can't destroy water blocks. At least a zombie can. So, yeah, I think this, this works. So I want to thank uh, just a happy fellow for suggesting this. Because this is actually something that works. You can build your base underwater. And the zombies are too stupid to be able to get under. Watch this blow up in my face though. Watch, watch them get in somehow. <laughs> no, but for now, for now, it's pretty good. You know, I'm pretty secure down here. I feel quite comfortable. I think I might move some important stuff down here. I'll probably make a large tower upwards above the ground level that goes directly into my base that I can retreat to at night. And the only way that, you know, the zombies are too stupid to follow me up there, so they're gonna try to get me while I'm under the water, and I'll be fine under here. They sound like they're doing something new, but... No, I think they're, I think they're uh, just stuck. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. So, I seem pretty okay down here. I think I'll get it ready to add on. In the morning, I will probably work on building a, uh, a bridge of sorts, upwards. So this should be pretty, pretty neat when it's finished. It should be really secure so far. There's only two blocks of dirt above me. And the zombies haven't even touched this dirt, at least. I don't know if they are attacking the dirt and they're just unable to destroy it right away. But whatever. It's fine. I feel actually pretty comfortable in here. I thought this would have been the dumbest mistake I ever made. I was like, oh god, oh god, you know? What if they uh, just plow right through like they normally do? Like normally, this, if you were under a hill, you'd be destroyed by now. They'd be in here, so I'm pretty safe so far. I'm just expanding this a little bit. Somebody's trying to contact me on Skype. It must be popular. Oh, come on. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I have to answer that. I'm attack, but so far, I'm not under attack. Wow, there goes it. One second. Well, it's six o'clock, and this roof here hasn't even been destroyed, so... I'm going to begin preparations of getting out of here. Probably shouldn't have wasted that, but whatever. I have a door. I'm rather impressed. I survived the night under two layers. There's iron over there. I survived the night under two layers of this, of the sand, um, so I'm, I'm really, really surprised. Like, this is a, this is a miracle. Uh, again, thank you, just a happy fellow, for telling me to do this, because, honestly, I had my doubts, I was thinking to myself, well, it's a very good possibility that zombies would just, you know, plow through and... If I hadn't done it, wouldn't have known. I'm pretty pleased how this turned out. <sighs> I was half expecting to do a death montage video, but I'm surprised. Um, so yeah. Whoa. Well, that's that lighting glitch that happens when morning comes. So I know it's morning. It's a bright flash. So I'm clear this one wall here, and then the head out. Now, the problem is, I haven't killed any of the zombies here. So they're going to be ready to kill me as soon as I get out. So I've got to run. Probably have to gun down a few. I will have to kill them, I'm pretty sure of this. Let's go into that dirt. Who's at the farm? And let's get going. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Wow. Let's start running. Oh god. They're fast in water. <laughs> okay, the zombies are faster in water, which... 
Oh my god. No, you're not supposed to run. That's bullshit. Okay, so apparently, uh, water counts as darkness. That's why they're fast. So we learned, we learned two things today. Uh, we learned that zombies cannot dig water. However, we learned that they can move twice as fast while in water. I have to clear them out. Oh my god. They're having a pool party without me. I'm really angry. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I need to increase the spread on the shotgun. Hey, look, they, they're having a hard time getting out. That's why they're, they can't dig, because they're constantly jumping. Oh, wow. The safest place to be. is in the water. Well, not in the water, but build something in the water. Ow. I feel like I'm wasting so many bullets here, but I've got a lot of shotgun ammo. So let me use that stone that I picked up. To build a bridge. So I'm constructing a crude framework for a bridge. I'm gonna have to cut this tree. All in the name of progress. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna raise it, obviously, but it's gonna get lower as it gets closer to the water. Wow, that's a weird effect. I'm noticing there's a little bit of a glitch when you had a doorway. The shadows there. Uh, so I need to put some stuff away and get this ready for your bridge. As I was heading back to the house, I noticed some zombies just aimlessly over there. They, did, they just ignored me completely. I think they didn't realize that food was pretty close by. So I effectively just snuck by them. And see, spending a night in the water has spared my base. So I am definitely going to move my knights under that water. And that way uh, I won't take any unnecessary damage to my base. Which would be good. I've got to put some stuff away. Put that brand new shotgun away. I don't need my gardening stuff on me. keep those buckets on me because I have a cool idea. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they know I'm here now. Huh. I see them there. They're no threat right now. If I keep building up, we'll be fine. Stand under the tree. That's a great way to kill yourself. Fastest way to kill yourself early in the game is to get underneath the pine tree and break it while you're sitting there. It's a great way to kill yourself. Ah, yeah. Free hit kill. Good for them. Good for them. 
Zombies.